Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have sort of an interesting video. So if you haven't guessed already, we're going to be looking at the subwoofer in this uh, in this car. This is my 1999 Saab 95 uh, station wagon, and the subwoofer has been having some issues. So if you look at it here, there's supposed to be a ring of foam right around the edge, and that's pretty much all gone. Um, so you can see here on the back of this piece, uh, there it is, kind of flaking away. So anyway, so with this with this job I looked at maybe getting a new subwoofer uh, it looks like they're going to be either expensive hard to come by or I could get one used but it's probably going to be in as bad a shape so I think I'm going to go ahead and try to repair this one I've ordered a kit which simply consists of uh, this foam ring and some glue and the instructions which seem to be lost at the moment so this this job really is uh, two parts one is repairing the speaker which may be fairly universal I have no idea um, I haven't seen any specific videos on repairing a subwoofer on a 95 uh, wagon sedan or otherwise so we'll see see what happens here but the first part of it is just getting access to the subwoofer so you'll have this uh, the speaker grill which goes over this piece right here on the side and then in order to get to that the first thing you'll do just climbing inside here now the first thing you'll want to do is pull this trim piece down just a little bit so the whole thing isn't down there but Anyway, so you'll pull that down, and then the next thing is uh, this piece that goes in the corner. So again, I've broken all these trim pieces, so you don't have to, but now they're fine, they're just not broken. But these, uh, this piece pulls off the corner, and there's four clips on that one right up the center. So just uh, you know, grab it tight at one end and tug, and you'll be good. The next piece is gonna be um, this part that kinda goes along the, the sill there. So I'll show you on the passenger side. I got a plane. Where is it? Oh well. Uh, so there's two two um, two torque screws there, which are T27. So you'll pull this one out, and then this one out back here, which is kind of hard to see. And then at the end, there's this little clip. So just pry that cover off, and there's another T27 under that. And then th that piece um, just pulls right out. There's a series of clips along the back. And I think while this is out, I may even take the other side out and clean them both, clean these uh, pieces out. But at any rate, that's out. The next thing, you'll just kind of lift up the lift up the mat there and pull this piece out. And then there's a clip here on the end of the on the end of this piece of trim. So take that out and just pry this up. Now this is kind of pressed back in now, but you'll need to pry that up. Okay, turn it around again here. You'll need to pry that up so you can pull out this uh, storage bin that's underneath the rubber mat and underneath the carpet. So that should be everything out of the way. And let's see if I can, oh, there's this, I did find this piece in here. I mean, I have all the pieces for this, but these are these little clips here, uh, which lock into this track. So if you look at this, just a, just a quick tip while we're doing this. If you pull that piece up, which is looks a lot like weather stripping on a threshold for a door, uh, there's this, aluminum rail in here and then you can just kind of line this up and if I'm doing it right uh, maybe I can't do it right with okay I'm getting it but it's hard to do with the camera here but anyway you pr you pull up this little tab and then this um... <laughs> it's not going there it is. Okay. All right. So that locks into place. You have to clip it in and slide it a little bit. But anyway, that clips into place and that would, I mean, that's really secure. So I'm not sure what they intend for you to be hauling and, and using that to secure. But anyway, they send you those in this little, oh, well, where'd it get to? Oh, here it is. Here's the little felt pouch that they, that they have. And there's four of them. So that's kind of cool. All right, so with that out of the way, you do have access to the subwoofer, and then this is the uh, the emergency release for the for the fuel filler door. Um, and then the subwoofer is going to have a couple bolts around the perimeter here. Oh, and this the uh, which piece was it? This piece right here. There's a series of bolts along the top. Those are, I believe, eight millimeter. So you'll pull those out. And this piece looks like it would pry out, but it doesn't. So I've seen some people cut the. You know cut out that mesh and just get to it that way but i think we'll do it this way i think we'll get better results and then once that's out this whole entire piece pulls forward which goes from you know behind this trim here um, the whole way around the edge and then even back uh, you know it covers kind of the whole wheel well 
So you have to kind of tilt the seat forward there as well. So let me see. Let me see if we can get like a before and after with this, which may not work really well. Let's just see if we can find something here. New mattresses started. Thank you. Have a great So you can see here the subwoofer, it's working, but it just, it's kind of rattly. So apparently the foam will take care of that. So we'll give it a shot. I have no idea. I've never done this before. So we'll see what happens. So I have the subwoofer out of the car. And by the way, it's turned to spring since I was last out here filming, so that's kind of cool. And I, by the way, I will, speaking of spring, I will have updates soon on the 900. Uh, we'll get back to that. But anyway, there's uh, this piece here, which removes uh, with four screws, which I have over here. And then originally this would have kind of had this foam piece in here to bridge that gap. And the old ones kind of rotted away, so we have to replace that. That's what we're doing here. That's the whole idea. So. Uh, basically, you can scrape this away. You can use a uh, putty knife, screwdriver, a razor blade, anything really. Just um, just kind of clean that up, and then you'll use rubbing alcohol and Q-tips or a paper towel and uh, kind of get that all clean. And then we'll use this glue here to adhere this um, into place. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and start cleaning this up, and then we'll go from there. Well, I've completed the cleaning, so I have um, the outside all cleaned up here. It's a little bit tacky, but all the original goop is gone, and I've cleaned up the speaker cone as well. So that, it looks a little rough. That's not foam. It's just kind of it's just kind of rough. Um, one thing to make note of is if you look here, these the holes that the screws go down through there, you want to make sure that they stay lined up between the outside of the speaker here and the surround because if you're prying and um, not prime, but kind of removing the old adhesive that might spin and then once you glue this cone in it's not going to want to spin anymore and it could be in the wrong location so just a tip all right well with that all cleaned up uh, I did check the fitment of this and it does say in the instructions that you can kind of you know tug on on this here a little bit and you know stretch it lengthwise and also in the center so I've kind of just um, you know it seems like it's something you'd have to be pretty gentle with but apparently you can just kind of tug on it to get it to fit which I've done so the next step will be to apply glue to this inside edge and then also to the speaker cone right around here so I'll go ahead and do that and then also they say that once it's in place to use something to hold it in place so I'm just going to use I have these sockets here so I think I'll just do something like that to kind of hold the edge down once the glue dries. So it says to actually don't in this one, you know, put the glue on, let it sit for a couple minutes till it gets tacky, and then it's dry when it's clear. So they say 20 minutes to an hour. So we'll see what happens. Well, here we are. Things aren't going too bad. For one, I've lifted the subwoofer up out of the way here, out of this whatever you want to call this case thing. Uh, but I ran the glue around, let it set for about five minutes, and. Um, it seems to be doing pretty good. I don't think I'm going to put anything here because anything around the edge to kind of hold the foam down. Reason being is that the weight kind of pushes down on the um, on the speaker cone. It turns out the sockets are a little too heavy. In the instructions, it shows using some bolts, um, some like bolts that are about maybe an inch and a half, two inches long. Uh, I don't have any. Should have got some. My mistake. But anyway, things seem to be sticking pretty well. I'll just kind of go around the perimeter here and. Like this side here, this one area wants to peel up, so I think I'll just keep uh, pressing that in until it glues. Uh, and then the other thing too to note is that you do want to scrape the back of this piece here as well, which I've done, and I've run the putty knife right into my thumb. So I glued up my thumb, then glued this up, so while both of these are drying, I'll probably clean up the where this goes in the, in the wagon and... Uh, go from there but any again so just kind of keep an eye on this keep uh, this is all centered but this one section just kind of wants to keep pulling up so just keep checking that for about 20 minutes and then it should be about glued and then we'll move on to this outer edge so we'll see how it goes it's about 610 now I'll check in in a little bit so it's now 630 20 minutes later and everything's setting up real nice so it's starting to become clear everything's drying really well uh, the speaker cone is centered. You want to be careful. You want to make sure that stays centered, or else, um, or else it'll make some nasty sounds. So just uh, just make sure that's centered. 
you know, this center piece, which is now glued, you know, centered in this the metal piece on the outside. It, I don't know, it kind of makes sense. Just make sure it's all aligned. So now I'm going to go ahead and drop this back in and then glue this perimeter. And then uh, shortly after, I'll put this back on because at this point, this isn't coming off. So I don't see any reason why I can't go ahead and apply the glue and just let everything dry all together. Uh, meanwhile, I've been kind of cleaning up some pure, uh, pieces of trim inside the wagon. But yeah, I'm working on the deck lid of the 9.3. So anyway. But yeah, just kind of cleaning things up here and then we'll get everything back together and uh, it'll probably be dark, but we'll see how it sounds. All right, well, I have everything back together as best I think it can be. So again, this is all glued around the perimeter. Um, still looks a little blobby there, but uh, it is glued. And I also have everything glued and these screws back in. So now we'll just kind of let it sit and dry. And uh, yeah, just going to clean up and kind of go from there. All right, well, the sun is going down. It's now 730, but I have everything back together here. So it's just the reverse of removal. Um, everything worked out pretty well, it seems. Um, we're looking good. I did clean that piece out. It's, I don't know, it's not perfect, but I got all the dirt out of the vent there, so... Uh, that's all back together for now. I'll put the, the cover in then. But anyway, let's give it a try and see what uh, let's see what it's like. So I'll just give this a shot. So I don't know if you can hear. It's definitely working a lot nicer now. And. Um, and I'll just go around to the front again because you can hear the subwoofer, but you know, anyway, I'll just sit in the car. Anyway, so I'm not sure how any of this will turn out over the, uh, you know, on the video, but long story short, that worked out pretty well. Uh, we got everything back together there. So we're looking good and that's fixed. So that's pretty cool. I'll leave a link in the description below. The kit that I used worked uh, pretty well. I don't know if there's any others out there. Uh, I just bought one that I saw somebody use online. But anyway, I hope this video is helpful. Again, I'm making it mainly because I um, just didn't see a lot of videos like this, especially not for, um, you know, for a Saab 9.5 wagon or anything like that. So that's all good to go. So now the the audio system in the station wagon is good. I've re replaced all the speakers in the 9.3 back here, so that's uh, that should be good for a while. And then everything works really well in the Mercedes there as well. So, cool. Thanks for watching.